Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a ginormous wax haul from the United States. So buckle up, get a snack, grab a drink, whatever it takes because I gotta get through these so I can put them away and I want to melt some of these like right now. But before we actually get into that, I wanna show you guys what's on my nails because I have been recently getting a lot of people asking me when I'm wearing nail polish, what I have on my nails. And sometimes I'm filming videos like weeks ahead. So <laughs> I can't remember. So these are both on uh, Hollow Taco. So I will show you guys here with the darker one and there's a milkier one. The milkier one is like how I would describe a milky purple. And this one's like a nice medium toned purple. So the milky purple one is called Serial Killer and the darker one is Resting Witch Face. Both from Holo Taco, both a Canadian company. I love them dearly. And yes, I will be doing a nail polish, uh, basically show and tell because I have definitely updated my nail polish collection and how I store things. And there's always, there's new stuff coming. <laughs> I'm obsessed with nail polishes. Okay, so why you guys are here. So my friend Teresa, I sent her a message when I saw a post on Facebook about all the new wax that was coming into Walmarts in the United States. And I was like, can you help a girl out? <laughs> so she is wonderful. So Teresa T for two here on YouTube. She went and searching both online and store for herself and for myself. I gave her a list, I took pictures and I'm like, okay, from this picture, I would like this and this. Little did I know, well, come on, let's be real, that pretty much I wanted like 95% of what I saw. So we have like 50 pieces of wax to go through. So I'm really gonna quickly just tell you guys what they are. I'll quickly sniff it, tell you what on a scale of one to five on cold, what I would rate it. One being low, five being my absolute favorites. And let's go from there. Teresa gave me some perfume samples too to try. So I'm actually gonna put that in a fragrance video, but she also gave me a whole pile of really nice goodies. So Sassy Girl Aromas, Pumpkin and Cranberry. So I'm gonna see if how well this compares to our beloved Bath and Body Works uh, Pumpkin Cranberry Candle, which I have chopped up, which Teresa is giving me some as well. I wanna see if this is at all anywhere near it because right now Bath and Body Works is lame and they never bring back what people really want. And I know I'm not the only one. The Pumpkin Cranberry Candle that they did probably five, six years ago now is the best. It's the bomb and I've not seen it since. So anyway, I am really looking forward to that one. On cold, this smells really, really good. And I definitely get less pumpkin, more cranberry and actually more like cranberry tart. I get like a buttery pastry or like a pumpkin pie pastry, but not necessarily the guts of the pumpkin. So that'll be interesting. So on cold, I'm going to give this one a three out of five. So this one here is from Rose Girls. This is also a sample Teresa gave me. This is Sicilian lemon cookie French toast and whole. Oh, I love the smell of this. Oh my goodness. Oh, my stomach just growled when I sniffed this just now. And I, I let my husband smell this too. And I think that the fact that there's lemon in it, Sicilian lemon on this French toast cookie, brings it down in the sense of the ooey gooeyness. So I am really elated to try this because this is right up my alley. So on cold, I'm gonna give this a four and a half out of five. Then she also popped in this Huntington Home White Almond Scented Wax Melt. Let's go smell this one too. This one smells like cherries. That's what marzipan to me and pistachio can sort of smell like marzipan, pistachio, cherries. It kind of almost smell the same. Um, I don't necessarily get almonds as if you were to bite into an, an actual almond. It is definitely in like a marzipan, um, baker's kind of marzipan scent or almond paste. So um, I like this. The cherry is not my favorite, although you'll see I did order a cherry. Um, but anyway, I'm looking forward to trying this out because I love when I'm proven wrong. So on cold, I'm going to give this a two and a half out of five because I'm not as huge a fan of this type of cherry. I don't eat marzipan or anything like that. Then she gave me from Rainbow Melts her Be Mine Pink Sugar Vanilla Balm and Frosted Cookies. This is a five out of five. If I could have a loaf of this, I would. This is absolutely freaking amazing. Five out of five on cold. I can't wait to melt that one. And to my absolute surprise, Teresa gave me a piece of Glitterati. Now you guys know I won like one mystery box and or one mystery pack and I bought a, back in my early years of doing wax videos and hauling wax. I was buying other people's wax that were just trying to sell it. And sometimes if they had like a, a bunch of wax that was so, so they would always throw a glitterati in it. And no matter what it was, people would, it was like the unicorn of all wax melts because it's very hard to get your hands on it. So Teresa, thank you so much. This is Endless Summer, A Little Black Dress. So I don't have scent notes for, for this one, but we'll pop it out and I'm gonna give it a sniff. This one here is, reminds me of a, in such a good way, great memory. When I went to England in 1996, 
It is the fabric softener my host mother used and I remember smelling my sweatshirt for like weeks when I went home and I didn't like a special sweater that I didn't wear a lot, but I would just sniff it because of the smell and this is such a great reminder of what that is. So I'm um, very thankful, totally threw me for a loop when I saw this and thank you so much, Teresa, because I have such great memories attached to the scent. So this will be a five out of five on cold for me. Okay, you guys, and now, <laughs> Now I have to make room. So you guys can sort of see in the corner here, we've got, got some wax over here, um, but now I'm about to make a whole pile of mess. So let's just start off with Sensationals. And the reason why I say that is because the last time she went shopping for me, um, and apparently we may have this in Canada, I just haven't found it yet, Fantasyland. I tried it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's not the same, but it's very, very, very similar to the, uh, was it Apricot Sun? sun drenched apricot rose or something anyway this is so good so uh it's called nectarine splash and jasmine so i guess is there a kind of a twist on the yankee candles version it was very very good i really enjoyed it so i asked her to pick up four of these for me what a saint she is because I'm, i know like I, I i have a lot of patience and i don't care about how long this stuff takes to get to me but my goodness that girl she went above and beyond so we have frosted berry cupcakes here this is mainstays it says uh strawberry cupcake batter and vanilla buttercream and there's the picture there so let's see there's a lot of strawberry i always find strawberries most prominent uh out in the springtime and then leading into summer oh this smells nice um this looks okay, so this, i think i said five out of five for this one i'm gonna say three out of five for this one it's a little bit synthetic i'd say and i don't get a much of the cupcake i get a synthetic strawberry so that we'll try that one of course but then from also for mainstays we have strawberry waffle cone which is strawberry vanilla waffle cone so again very standard strawberry oh i like this one a little bit more <laughs> i think it's a waffle cone so there's this one so i'm gonna say on cold four four out of five all right, we just have a few more sensationals before we dive off into the abyss that is known as Better Homes and Gardens. So here we have Wildflower Dreams and let your imagination blossom. So probably going to be a bathroom out for me. It's this really pretty scent actually. It's not too florally for a non-floral lover. So I'm gonna give this a four out of five on cold. That smells really delicious. Then we have, I think we could probably get this one Canada, but it's called the Watermelon Kiwi Lemonade. And ooh, all of those, yes please. Man, it smells so scrumptious. This would be a five out of five for me for sure. I'm cold. Hello Gorgeous. This is Vanilla Rose and Pink Pear. So let's give that one a sniff. I like the picture too, like look at that, it's super cute. Interesting, I don't really, it's not a very strong wax melt. I had to sniff it a couple times here. It's not super strong, at least on cold. The scent is okay, so I'm gonna give this a three out of five on cold. Then we have a fresh daisy and lemon. So, oops, sorry, fresh daisy and lemon. So that's this one here. And let me see, this is so, uh, such a perfect balance of fresh and citrusy. The lemon doesn't take it over and nor does the floral. It's such a great 50-50 balance and it's hard to come by because normally certain scents like lemon will take over an entire scent regardless of how much oil you put in the other scent of. So anyway, really looking forward to that. So that I'm gonna say on cold, four out of five. Mango cheesecake, well, hey, if I had an option to eat a cheesecake with mango on it, yeah, count me in because I do like mango and I do like cheesecake. Oh gosh, this gets me the crust. It gets me the cheesecake portion and the mango, of course. This is a five out of five for me on cold. Hawaiian Blossom is the next one. I'm going to Hawaii in February of 2024. I'm so excited. This reminds me of the first time I walked out of the Maui airport in the breezeway and all that lovely floral scent that it just naturally is in their space and i was like oh hawaii has my heart when it comes to um like you know like summertime so speaking of maui maui driftwood so this one's probably gonna be a bathroom melt for me oh so this is going to be a, a four and a half out of five for that one mm, maui driftwood this will be a bathroom melt three out of five right now there's a funky little something something into this that i hope that i don't get when i melt but it's not bad but it's just a little something something i can't put my nose on it but then we have a seashore splash this would be obviously a bathroom melt for me because I love that kind of smell. Oh yeah, that's almost borderline men's cologne, but there's definitely a saltiness to it. It does kind of have that men's beachy, salty vibes, towels, dry, uh, dryer sheet kind of scent. So I like it. Um, three out of five. 
Sunburst Citrus. I do love a citrus. Sometimes it's nice to change things up when it's like super fruity. Like when I'm talking about fruity, I'm talking like strawberries or blackberries or something like that. So, oh my gosh. Wow, this reminds me of something. This is straight up citrus. Like it's grapefruit. It's every, every palmello everything it everything in here this is so great it smells wonderful that's a five out of five for me on cold then we have sea salt and lavender which i don't think is a necessarily a new item um but it's definitely a nice scent oh yeah this is gonna be great for the bedroom this is a beautiful herbal lavender with that sea salt normally i'm a sweet lavender lover but i don't mind this at all on cold three and a half out of five waikiki paradise look at that look at that picture don't we all want to be there? If you are right now and you're watching, I am so envious. Anyway, so let's give this one a smell. Oh man, that smells so good. It smells like the coconuts, the fruity tropical like pina colada, um, but there's it's just way more to it. Like I just, it smells like you are at the beach. So yay. I think I have two more sensationals before we move on to better homes and gardens. So then we have tropical fiesta, passion fruit, guava, yum. <laughs> So yes, I do like all those. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so fruity, like a tropical punch, but with a twist. Yum, yum, yum. So nice. Then we have a sweet berry cupcake, which is fluffy and frosted. So I'm hoping this one might like more or less have an actual cupcake scent to it. Let's see. Yes, there is like a bit of caramel in this. It makes it a little bit ooey gooey, which is weird because I mean, I love buttercream frosting. It's not too ooey gooey for me white cake that it's picturing not too ooey gooey strawberry not at all but there's a bit of a caramel kick to this somehow but i do get more of a baked um a bakery note oh yeah i should say that would be for this would be a 3.5 it's just not my favorite bakery note all right let's start diving into some like better homes and gardens because i have a lot of them so we have lemon raspberry donuts and th these ones actually have scent note descriptions on them lemon raspberry vanilla sugar cane donut and vanilla bean scented notes let's give it a smell oh yeah that oh yeah baby that smells so good that is a yes <laughs> That's a five out of five on cold. Then we have Honeysuckle Glow. This is Evening Rain Davana Fruity Jasmine Firefly Honeysuckle Rose Jasmine Earthy Patchouli and White Birch Scent Notes. So let's give that one a smell. This is fresh and clean. Definitely gonna be a bathroom melt. More sophisticated, I, my brain goes right to nighttime. So like if it was a nighttime cologne, I could definitely see someone wearing this. Whoops. <laughs> I could definitely see someone wearing this, but I'd say um, on cold, three out of five for that one. I do have one more sensationals I missed. Sorry, guys. This is Blue Tiful Citrus. So feel the freshness. So it's going to have some lemon and some aqua, I'm going to guess in here. Ooh, this is soapy. <laughs> I do not recommend this one unless you love soap. <laughs> like those soaps that your mom used to get that were wrapped up in that fancy paper. Anyway not a fan of that on cold that's a one out of five but it will go in the bathroom because that's just what, what you do when you when you don't know where to put things <laughs> so back to better homes and gardens we have vanilla buttercream so this one is described as vanilla bean buttercream sugar cane scented notes so let's give this one a sniff oh it's beautiful it's beautiful and it's a great blender as well if you need to um this one will be four out of five for me berry lemonade and melon yes please so this is described as lemon berry watermelon and that's it oh yeah this is very good a little bit weaker than i thought especially with lemonade in it but it's very very lovely and i'm looking forward to melting that one so four out of five for that champagne and sugared peach yes i like that <laughs> this is champagne lemon peel clementine peach pink grapefruit and pureed berries it has me remind now it's not the same because they're not it is not the same but it reminds me of love spell from victoria's secret it has that same kind of essence to it i think it's where my brain went to right away so the next one here is apple blossom freesia this is apple blossom freesia greens pear raspberry sugar currants that's this one here and let's see oh and so this one i'm gonna say like four and a half out of five i should say this is me a two and a half out of five very very floral like more floral than sweet yet again some more strawberries so we have a sunlit strawberry patch right here and this one is strawberry vanilla bean green berry leaf raspberry it's a nice real all natural fruit popsicle 
scent. So to me, this is more authentic than some of the strawberries that we've had or strawberry blends that we've had, such as this. There's like a lot going on with this one. I'm gonna give this a four and a half out of five. Verdant Palm, I think that's how you say it. Anyway, it says bergamot, citrus, lime, blossom, bamboo, water lily, geranium, palm rose, white clove, vanilla, white birch, sandalwood. Oh, there's a lot in here. So I'm gonna guess it'd be a bathroom scent here. Ooh, I like this one. I didn't know what to expect. It's definitely fresh and a little floral, but more just fresh in a good way. So, and green, like the colors, everything, everything I would have given it. Um, hmm, four and a half out of five. I surprised by that one. Then we have Hawaiian fruit market. So a little bit of everything. So it says citrus, tropical mango, papaya, guava, berry, tropical sweet and vanilla scents. Oh yeah, this is very, very nice. A little light, but this I feel would be perfect for sunset. I don't know why, but my brain went to sunset. So having this on in the evening in the summertime when it's nice and hot, I think that would be great. So four and a half out of five, that one's very nice. Flowering pink pineapple. I've never had a pink pineapple. I know they're quite all the rage, you know? <laughs> I've seen so many people love them. Sweet bergamot, tart lemon, pineapple blossom, green leaf, osmanthus, hibiscus. So that is a lot. Sorry, my light just went out, but I don't know about this one. No, I, I don't think I like that one as much. Mm, two and a half, it's, it does smell earthy like um, dirt with fruit. I, yeah. <laughs> So next up we have amber and rose. So this one will probably be great for the bedroom. It's described as citrus, berry, floral, amber, wood, and vanilla. So let's give this one a sniff. Yes, it's a very nice, lovely, girly, floral be bedroom scent. This is what I would give it. So three out of five for me, um, but it is very lovely. Island coconut creamsicle is next. Orange, mandarin, lemon zest, coconut, fig, peach, vanilla, sugar, and cream. This to me feels like it's a repa repackage of something and I don't know what that something is, but it does smell familiar. I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five, but it's a very nice summery type scent for sure. Beach brunch, this one here is described as fresh squeezed orange, melon slices, sugared berries, pineapple juice, whipped cream, waffle syrup, and vanilla beans. Sounds like a lot. Okay, let's give it a go. Ooh, I was worried when it said waffles and syrup. I was worried about the syrup being too ooey gooey, not at all. This is surprising. I'm gonna give it a four out of five on cold. I am surprised I like this as much as I do. I was. My brain went to waffles and went, oh, well, that's probably gonna be really strong, but we're good. Peony and blush or peony and blush, depending on how you say it, described as bergamot, mandarin, peony, jasmine, and orange blossom. So very nice. I get honeysuckle, a lot of it, or honey or something. Because of that, I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it a two and a half because I worry about that one. <laughs> White peach and daisy, maybe part of the same family-ish as this one that we just spoke about. This one says, Granny Smith, apple, white peach, bergamot, daisy, rainwater, melon, cassis, lemongrass, and amber. Ooh, I like this one more than the one we just talked about. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna give this one a four out of five on cold. Lotus and pearl. So again, probably from the similar collection that we just kind of went over, over here with. So ozone, green, fresh fruit, jasmine, lily, and musk. So that's this one and beautiful like sage green color. Ooh, this reminds me of a Yankee Candle scent and I don't know what that would be. Ooh, huh, it reminds me of a Yankee Candle. I don't know if it's like, not pink sands, golden sands or something, something like that it reminds me of. So um, I'm giving it a five out of five because I like that scent. That's, I love that scent from Yankee. Happy to have it here. Then we have a frosted pineapple cupcakes. I can't remember if I had that one already. Something similar to it. Oh man, oh, this is good. <laughs> this is so good. I get the frosted cupcake and I get pineapple. So yeah, it's like totally exactly what it's saying it is. So I'm gonna say five out of five on cold on this one. Oof, I like that one. Mandarin and guava. Orange, candy, mandarin, tangerine, island, guava, papaya, mango, and vanilla. This is nice, but there's something about it. It's almost got a mint note to it. I don't know why. I'm reading these over again. I don't know. I get like a mint with fruit. I'm not quite sure. I'm a little confused. So three out of five on cold on that one. Remember I was telling you guys about cherry. I, I get that what I say, but um, cherry, vanilla cherry swirl is our next one here. And it is described as cherry, vanilla, buttercream, sugar, 
cane scent notes. I get what I said before. This one's just sounding to me like it's gonna be a little bit more rich. And yeah, it does. Oh yeah, this one is just a much more deep sensual cherry. It's a deep dark cherry, not a um, marzipan like or anything like that. And it has the vanilla, it has like the little wood butter cream and all that stuff. I love this one. This one does smell really good. So five out of five on that one. Then we have kitchen herb. So this is purple basil, fennel, wild lavender, sage leaf mint and chamomile maybe bedroom or maybe bathroom oh i think it's gonna be bathroom because i feel like even though there's chamomile in here I still feel like when i smell this it will be too fresh i think i want to put this one in the bathroom so that will be a bathroom scent probably three out of five for me rose water and coconut milk mm, this sounds delightful so this is sugared rose petals summer berries coconut milk vanilla and pistachio pistachio i think pistachio for the year 2023 is like the it fruit i think i've said that or fruit i mean nut mm, i like it it's the rose water that i don't enjoy as much so i'm gonna give this a two and a half out of five on cold might be in a bedroom because of the rose whipped vanilla and blackberry now this is not new i know what we can get something similar to this in canada and i know this has come back all the time but i do like this so i wanted to have it obviously so this is blackberry raspberry blueberry and vanilla cream it's very very nice i almost feel like i get a bit of a cake note to this as well which is odd because it doesn't have that anywhere on the scent note descriptions but I'm not just getting like a, uh, let's say, I'm not getting a yogurt and fruit. I'm getting like almost a light cheesecake with all that fruit. So really like that. I'm gonna say I like it for four out of five. Red mango and nectarine. Ooh, that sounds good too. Guava, lime, mandarin, mango, and tangerine. Oh my gosh. I don't know what that smell, I think it's the tangerine. I love it. This came out and the scent came with one of these other scents that we've gone through and I love it. It's a very distinct citrus smell and I love it. I'm here for it. This is rainwater and moss. So probably either a bedroom or a bathroom scent again. Rainwater, lotus, lavender, red cedar, and frosted patchouli. Frosted? Oh, frosted patchouli moss. Okay. Uh, all right. There you go. Anyway, let's give this one a sniff. Oh, mm -mm, nope, nope, nope. Zero out of five. Mm -mm, damn patchouli. Why do you have to wreck everything? <laughs> sorry if you're a patchouli lover, but sorry or not. Sorry, right? Tropical pina colada is the very last item to talk about. This is pineapple cream, coconut, sugar, vanilla bean, and cherries. Let's see what this one can bring. Very generic, synthetic. Two out of five. Oh, you guys, that's a lot of wax. Like on top of all of this here, I'm just gonna stack over here. We've got all the stuff that extras that Teresa was so kind to give me. And also her husband is amazing. Between the two of them, they packed so well. And again, here's the nail polish colors. Again, I love it. Holo Taco. It's a very, very good company. I'm gonna try my best to make a huge dent on these this summer. I do have a lot of great summer wax melts. So I'm likely not gonna be hauling again from the United States until their fall wax melts come out because that's fall, the winter, and then like this kind of spring, summer. Thank you so much for watching. And again, thank you to Teresa T for two here on YouTube. Um, I really hope she makes some videos soon. We'd love to see her throw some wax material up there. Yeah, girl. Anyway, you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.